The following video is rated PG-13, which may contain scenes and or themes that are not for people under the age of 13. You are not supposed to tell me about the party. It was supposed to be a surprise. I'm sorry, but you know, I could not hold it back. It's very unfortunate to tell you that Haley didn't make it. She's dead. Who said that Haley is recovering? She was fine. I thought she was, but it's different. Do you even begin to realize that you are marrying a prostitute? Not to mention a sex worker. Oh, would you please stop? Margaret is not a prostitute. She's my fiance. He's only trying to convince you that we should come to the wedding, that's all. Dear you know, or what? But it's not gonna happen. Not in the world. Hey, what's your name? Well, I really need an introduction because they think the whole countner knows about me. Maggie Pesky, isn't it? Oh, so you are a rock star, right? Well, was until I got really sick of it. Please tell me what the hell is this shit? What is that? A document. This document is trying to prove that Scott D. Naga should be the sole owner of the Owl apartment and not my boss. If anything happens to Thomas, you're dead. You're too late. The police already arrested him at a McDonald's drive through this morning. There's nothing you can do about the Owl apartment now. Excuse me? You have no right to arrest my boss. Look, it had to happen. Where do you think you're going? Going back home. Where else? Oh, what home? You don't even have one. He's dead. I figured out that between 2012 and 2018, your ex-husband failed to pay his rent and the deposits when you moved out of the house. Ever since you moved out, the house has been in a terrible state. There was no gas, no electricity, nothing. Cindy, do you have any involvement with these actions? What exactly is this about? Jak w porach roku Zmienia się światło w twoich oczach Powiedz mi życie coś miłego Nie pędź tak proszę, daj odpocząć Życie, życie, życie jest nowem Której nigdy nie masz dosyć Wczoraj biały, biały weon Jutro białe Białe włosy Życie, życie Jest nowelą Raz przyjazdą A raz wrogą Czasem chcesz się pochwalić Ale nie masz to słowo Fraud, do you actually believe I was frauding people with my ex-husband? I know it's crazy to say it, but those allegations are true. I know it's crazy to say it, but those allegations are true. But you had no idea what your husband was doing. Exactly, but... It was more than just fraud. What are you talking about? That one night in January 2019... Aaron raped me. He did what? It's not the first time he did that. A year later, he threatened to kill me if I tell the police or anyone else. He is a dangerous criminal, and I've got evidence to prove it. Look, I understand what you are going through, but... But nothing! You need to do something about this man. I want him arrested and locked up in prison for the rest of his goddamn life. But I don't even know where he is right now. He could have moved out of the country, or maybe he's still out there somewhere. But what if Aaron comes back? Look, whatever happens, the police will be dealing with it. Just try to stay calm. Hi, what? Where have you been? I had to go out for a walk. I just had to clear out my head. What? There is something I need to tell you. Is this Mordecai Fishbach again? No, not him. I think I figured out... What was in my head this whole time? It turns out there's another fish back in our family. What? Who? Carl. Carl. The raccoon, I abandoned him just over a year ago. I didn't tell you who he was because I was hiding him the whole time. 
Around the time I went crazy about your affair, the suicide attempt to me- Wait a minute! He? He was your son this whole time! And you didn't even tell me! Do you understand what? Cora has autism! Autism. You abandoned your own autistic son. How could you, Lydia? I've dealt enough family drama, but this is just too much for me. Huh? What's this? You finished breakfast before me? Where the hell have you been? Oh, sorry fan. I just had to go out for a walk. At this time of night, you didn't even answer my calls or my texts. What's going on, Cindy? Okay, look. I just had to talk to my lawyer because there is this one man that I still can't get rid of. His name is Aaron Holland. Ah, uh, Ron Holland? Is he a friend of yours? He was my ex-husband. I found out that he failed to pay his bills or his debt when we lived at the old home at the time. He also believes that he is the father of Marshmallow and Bow. That's nonsense. Marshmallow and Bo wouldn't be raised by that lunatic. Which is why I took full custody of them. In fact, I don't even know who Marshmallow and Bow's father really is. It's our children, Cindy. Our children. Why do you still think about this AI anyway? Cindy, is there something that I don't know? I can't even begin to describe what is going on anymore. First it was Haley, but now Scott, what if the professor dies next? Don't say that, Patricia. There is not going to be a next. How would you know? Don't you realize what these goons are doing? They want to kill all of us over the owl apartment, and now I could be the target. What do we do? We have to call the police, we have to let them know. So Malcolm could find out and try to kill us over it? That's dangerous. Patricia, we have to. We can't just do nothing. There is a great possibility that we can track down this guy. And Jonathan, too. Is it okay if I bring Scott back with my project? Don't. I can't let you do it again, alright? You already did that last time. And this is not the time to revive him. So just back off and leave it alone. Well. I'll go make some coffee. Surprise! Woo! What's all this? Happy birthday, my girl. Now, look at you. You've hardly changed. Yeah, like if nothing's happened. Wait, how come Arden isn't here? He couldn't come to the party today. He's busy with his football practice. Oh yeah, of course. I bet he's busy. All right. 14 years. How incredible is that? You're gonna be 15 next year. I brought you a present, Sugar Love. I hope you like it. Oh, Cricket, you shouldn't have. I know you said you're not into rock music anymore, but I thought I could surprise you with this. Tell her that you put sent that for her. Thanks, guys. I like it. So, what's the big emergency? Is this the wedding again? Are you trying to tell me to give it up and for- It's not that. It's different. You see, I used to know a child. A child that I have been secretly raising, but I didn't show him to you for over a year. I abandoned him to his biological parents, and he has autism. The kid I used to know is your brother. His name is Carl Fishback. What? Dude, is this some sort of a sick joke? What do you mean we have an autistic brother this whole time? Why didn't you tell us about that sooner? I'm sorry, Mordecai. I've been hiding this secret for a year. And I didn't want to tell you th that I'm scared that this could destroy my family. Excuse me, is this the kid you were looking for? Take him back. Take him back to wherever he used to be. Hmm. We are not having- Mordecai! Stop it! He's my son, and he's your brother! You don't treat him like that! Not with an autistic son! Mom? Carl, it's okay. Just go to your room. Are you happy now? Hello, I'm home. I brought some groceries. Hello, Cindy. Aaron, what are you doing here? Cindy, it's okay. I'm not here to hurt you. I just want to have a talk. Talk about what? 
Don't you know what I'm going through right now? Ever since we divorced, I have been trying to forget you. I didn't mean for you and your kids to be in this mess. I'm sorry. I've turned my life around. Could you move back in with me? Where? Back to that pigsty where you live? I already have a new life, and I don't want to be with you again? Not after everything you did to me? I get it, Cindy. I know you hate me because of the money. It's not just the money, Aaron. It's everything. You fraud all these people just so you could earn money to yourself? What kind of man are you? Frauding people is the worst mistake I made in my life. Yeah, just like killing a bank accountant. What did you say? Remember Chelsea Smith, the accountant from OTP Bank? You killed her because your house no longer supported payment, and do you know why? Because you are well truly a fraud? I already have my name cleared. Where the hell did you get that from? Do you really think I could get away with this? I only did it for you, Cindy. Can't you see that? She was a threat to our family. Liar? The only one who is a threat is you? You are a monster, and you're disgusting? Shut up. All I'm trying to do is start a new life with you, and you don't care. We've raised two kids together. Marshmallow and Bo. You're not their father. Those kids are not yours. They always were, Cindy. You took them away from me, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to get them back. Too late. I already took full custody of them. Do you think it's that simple? Huh. You bring them back to me right now. Or what? You'll rape me. You did that before, right? Look, my husband fan is going to be here at any minute. He's gonna know that you're in here and he'll call the police. Don't you even think about it. You're not telling the police. Make me. Aaron, what the heck are you doing in our house? Marsh. Bo. Thank God you were here. Are you okay? You're not even supposed to be here. Please leave my mother alone. I've come to take you back. I'm taking you back to where you were once raised. Don't you dare take my children. Leave them alone. Back away from them, you spineless bastard. Aaron, no. Put the gun down, Aaron. We can talk about this. Too late. There's nothing else to talk about. You have completely betrayed me, and you took my children away without my consent. Those are my children, and you can't take them away from me. I'll wipe off your stupid face regain. <laughs> for the birthday party. It was really fun. Yeah, I hope you like the present. Anyway, another chance to meet up tomorrow. Sure, just don't forget to call me though. I hope you get my number. Where are you off to, princess? What's the matter? Have you been expecting someone else? What are you doing here? I thought you disappeared many months ago. Disappeared? Oh wow. You must be stupid. I just did some hiding outside of the country and all that. Say, where's Mandy and Mandy? Um, actually I think you're talking to the wrong person. I don't even know where Mindy and Mandy are right now. Exactly. And I'm going after them. I know they're scared of me and hiding away from me like I do. But you know what? I don't care. I'm going to find them and see what they think about me. I'm sure they won't all be pleased to see me. Thanks. I'm sorry about what happened with Scott. Did you manage to talk to any of his relatives? No, I haven't talked to anyone. Not even your husband? Norman, Kai and I have been living apart for years now. Kai is living in Hawaii. So are you either divorced or just separated? Look, I know what you're going through. I knew about the will that Scott wrote before he was killed. True. But buying the house and kicking Thomas out is too difficult. I can't even begin to describe what to do with this man. He's in prison, Patricia. You don't have to worry about him anymore. But what about the owl apartment? How are we supposed to prove that Thomas's house isn't his? I already bought it. You, you did what? I did it for you, Patricia. We can start new lives here and make a family together. We don't have to worry about anything that has been happening to us over the past few days or weeks. Once we fully achieve everything we had in our dreams, we can wipe Jonathan and Malcolm out of our lives. Oh, Norman, I couldn't thank you enough.
This video was part of G4P TV's Super Saturdays. Super Saturdays, the perfect way to kick off the weekend.